guys, so I have a quick actor tip and model tip that you really want to listen to if you're new, and it's this. I keep seeing these posts. Here's a model example one. Fashion models needed. A fashion agency is now casting models 18 and up. No experience needed. Paid. Send all of your information to blah 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 at blah blah.com. Guys, if they're casting for something and they need models, probably they're going to say what agency they are. And agents don't pay models to be a part of their roster or whatever. They have to actually get you jobs modeling for things. And so that that type of post doesn't even make sense. Don't send them your information. Don't. It's not real. It's not. And then I'll see like big name brand now casting models and send all your info over to such and such random email. Y'all know these big companies are not getting random people to get on Facebook and cast their uh, project, whatever you call it, their models. They're not. And then I'll see um, things that say blah, 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 um, paid modeling thing, no experience needed, modeling coach will be available. That's a bunch of fake crap, y'all. Please stop sending your information over to those people to those fake emails. I know it's exciting if you want to be a model and you see that stuff and you're like, Ooh, this could be my chance. Don't do it. Don't send your stuff. And then for actors, okay, it can be harder to wade through when you're an actor because you see something like a casting and, okay, it's hard because people who are making smaller independent films, we don't always put all of the information out there for you. When I'm helping cast something, I don't always put all the information out, but I do make sure that I put, whether it's paid or unpaid, um, the location, projected shoot dates or shoot dates TBD, something. Um, something to let you know that it's real, but you still don't know just by seeing my post if you don't know me, this is real or not. So when it comes to acting, one of the big things you can do is get on IMDb, look and see who made the post, get on IMDb and see if they have anything on there. If they don't, they may not be legit. So get on their Facebook page, scroll for a minute if you can see their posts. Do they look like this is a real thing or not? And then um, just be careful with it. If it says send your information to such and such random email, but they give you nothing about what the show is, it's probably fake, and as much as we all want to get booked, skip those, because you're not going to get booked, because it's not real. So please try to do your due diligence and checking up on these things, models and actors. Protect your information. Don't get on these random mailing lists, or worse. <laughs> so be careful out there, that's all. I see people get so excited, and then I'm sad because I know the thing is fake. And if somebody types red flag, not always a red flag, but look look the person up on IMDb and modeling stuff. You're just, every bit of what I see for that is fake almost. Just be careful with it. If you want an agent or if you're looking to act more or get into the modeling scene, feel free and hit me up. Not that I can get you where you want to go or the agent that you want, but I can at least give you some more tips on how to present yourself professionally enough to be looked at because there are a lot of people that are hopeful models but they don't know what they're supposed to do and they think they have to pay for all these photos up front. Actually, and I'm getting on a tangent now so feel free to exit this little video, but actually um, if you're wanting to model, you don't have to have all those perfect shots ahead of time. The agents want to know your measurements, your height, your weight, and what you really look like so that they can help you get bookings. They don't want to see fake stuff. They don't want to see you all photoshopped up. Modeling agents, they want to know what you look like. And they want to know if you're the height, weight, shape, and whatnot that they're looking for to add to their team, okay? And as far as acting goes, you do have to have some upfront costs if you want to get into it and appear professional. You want to have 
professional headshots done and there are so many photographers out there that are great at specific things that they do they might be a great portrait photographer or something but that doesn't always equate to industry standard headshots which is important I don't listen to the majority of things people preach to me about acting what you are supposed to not supposed to do I wade through it and I pick the things that work for me and I do them but one of the things that is pretty much always going to be accurate is you're going to look like you take acting seriously if you've invested in a nice headshot don't get a headshot with the woods behind you bricks are outdated there are certain things that certain photographers know that they want to um that the people that are casting the casting directors want to see nowadays and honestly when i help look through acting photos and I see somebody's snapshot from home and I see somebody's professional headshot I immediately in my head go to this person is wanting to be an actor and this person maybe just thought huh this will be fun and I immediately have a separation in my head and that doesn't mean on unpaid projects you're not going to get booked off the snapshot you, you easily can still do that but if you want to be looked at professionally you want to appear professional and like you've put in the work and you've put in a little bit of money to get going with it so a little bit of tips I said more than I meant to but there you go that was all free but I love to help anybody people message me and ask for ideas and advice and stuff I don't mind it a bit I love helping that's what we're all supposed to do for each other regardless of what our career path is have a lovely day love you all bye